Today we'll have a look at an abundant sky shield landing platform. Corrosive atmosphere, long decades we have attack priests to maintain it, and the open wounds after a war will change a part of our planetary defenses into a shadow of its better days. Let's see what happens if we go all out with our pigment powders and animal colors. I started with a massive layer of fixed pigments. If you're not familiar with this technique, just have a look at our Vindicator step by steps. In fact, they were so massive that the spray primer wouldn't cover them all, no matter how often applied. This adds a nice and random pattern of different heavy rusted areas. Now it's time to bring them out a bit, using an old toothbrush, rubbing and scraping away the white primer, revealing our pigments below. They will be all over the place when we're done, creating patterns we couldn't achieve by painting all of them. As all further steps of weathering apply to the whole structure, now is the time to paint the copper parts. I decided to apply the color only to the two big aquilas to have some highlights in this mess of corrosion. Time for washes, panel lines and some blending of all those rust pigments. I use animal colors from AK, but every oil color from next door's art store would achieve the same effects. I apply brown, green and black tones to the recesses and some dots of these colors to the panels themselves. The whole mess is blended with white spirit, again you can find a detailed guide to this technique in our other videos. The green tones will add a feeling of moss and wetness to the whole platform, it's up to you how overgrown your terrain should be. This was my first try with a new citadel technical color Neolag Oxide. Apply it in random patches, removing some of it with a tissue while it's still wet. This will vary the pattern that we paint.
I then dry brushed the base copper tone and a lighter golden tone over the whole acrylic, finishing with very little silver color. After that you can add nail -like again, in case it's not strong enough for your taste. It's important to add some life to such big metal areas to avoid them looking just flat. With most of the blending done, it's time to readjust our copper areas. I decided we need some more blue patina and added a line of neolac around the eagles to separate them more from the painted metal parts. I hope you found some inspiration. What do you think of his one-shot videos, showing some process and not the whole way through? 
I think they're a good opportunity to show some color recipes or ways to apply a technique we already explained with focus on special areas. Let me know your opinion and maybe some wishes for new videos down in the comments.